them. The smallest and rarest water lily in the world. It hadn't been seen in the wild since 2008 and it only grew in one place, a hot spring in Rwanda. The only other place in the world was here. It became a metropolitan police case Q had always tried when rare species or seeds had been sold to make sure the home countries where they originally grew to profit from it to rebuild communities and habitats. But it brought up a discussion of what is plant theft and what is botany. All the original owners of Q took plants from all over the world. They transported them back. So it is an interesting subject. But as one of the gardeners here said to me, if one plant is extinct, a whole species might follow. He said plants were like words and languages. If all the roses went, where would Shakespeare be? If all the water lilies disappeared, where would Monet be?